In BC, we have a lot of people that love to enjoy the outdoors and get out into wild natural spaces. A big part of that often is lighting a campfire to enjoy the warmth of it, sit around and socialize, and just generally enjoy being out there. Campfires are often used as well for cultural or ceremonial purposes. Each year in the province, nearly half of all the wildfires we see are human-caused. The remainder are lightning. But those human-caused ones, we have an opportunity to get ahead of it and potentially prevent them from occurring in the first place. So while we're always evaluating the pros and cons of putting on a campfire prohibition, there comes a time where the need to prevent wildfires is too important and the conditions are too dry. A lot of things are taken into consideration when we're looking at putting on a prohibition. Where we're at in fire season, the resources available to help respond to fires if they did occur, and we look at where we're at as far as the indices are, the field of index specifically, and then we have a threshold level. So when those stations are above a certain threshold level and we see that the forecast is trending to be hotter and drier for a prolonged period, we implement a prohibition. As summer heats up and our fire season gets going, the province has an opportunity to restrict open fire use. We do this in order to help prevent those unwanted human-caused fires, help us keep our workload manageable in responding to and suppressing those wildfires that happen across the land base.